So for the past couple months, I've been assembling my next Sean's Favorites video, as I haven't done one since kind of the springtime. Excited to do that. I'm trying to flush out all the fast food from the other channel. <laughs> In today's video, Sean's October favorites. You might see some clips from some other videos that I kind of overlaid as B-roll, but I've been scheming and gathering and snagging and capturing content for this video. Having and giving and sharing and receiving. <laughs> We too can share. Are there chia seeds in this? Yes. Health. So sit back, relax. Maybe some of these things appeal to you. Maybe some don't. But regardless, we're here together in the fall. The weather's dropping, but our bond, our bond is so strong. And have. <laughs> and receive. So let's kick it over to the first item. This first one is tried, tested, and true. It's very me. Enjoy. First thing on the favorites list, Oxo Brew Compact Cold Brew Coffee Maker. This is specifically for cold brew blends. Cold, cold brew, cold. <laughs> so in cold brew, you actually grind your beans a little bit coarser. Coarser. Than if you were doing like a pour over, like a hot coffee. Rainmaker, meet the top of that. 24 ounces of water, around in a circle, slowly. And then you just kind of let this sit for 12 to 24 hours on the counter or like overnight in the fridge and science just kind of happens. So we'll have coffee very, very soon by the base of this edit right now. Okay, hi, it's the next morning. We'll go back to Peppy yesterday, Sean, that's doing the favorites, but right now, we're gonna put this on here. Whoa. Cool. Science. So this is cold brew concentrate. So you gotta dilute it a little bit, like two to one or three to one with water. Allie wants oat milk. Let's do two to one. That's one. I'm gonna use water. I like to make as much noise as possible. Cheers, at home cold brew. Mmm. Potent. How is it? Really, really fing good. Alright, back to much more camera ready yesterday, Sean. Jimmy, this is some serious gourmet shit. All right, if you're more of a grab and go, Dark Matter, this is the mothership. Western in Chicago, this is like Ukrainian village, I believe. Are you Ukrainian village? When you buy three, the fourth one's basically free, so. Um, dude, the Chocolate City is like one of my go-to blends. Look how gorgeous these cans are. They're just, the art can't be stopped. So I'm gonna do this one today on the never-ending quest for too much caffeine. Anybody else do that with their neck when they open a can? <laughs> I do a great impression of a hot dog. All right, Chocolate City. Oh, it's so good, it's so deep. <laughs> I remember when I hated, hated iced coffee. I was like, how do people drink it? Like 10 years ago, now it's an addiction. So that's cool that I can admit it on camera. So yeah, if you don't want to buy a cold brew maker and you just want to get really good cold brew coffee in cans when you're in Chicago, any dark matter, they're all over the city. Okay, so now that it's raining a ton. <laughs> now that it's raining a ton and it's gonna be like sleeting and snowing in Chicago, this little bitch ass dog, like <laughs> the lens is right there. There you go. He like won't walk if there's precipitation. The way to kind of fix that is Allie found this Lucy and Co. reversible jacket and now he just skips and jumps and walks a lot better when it's raining or snowing. So this has kind of been like the cure-all for that problem. And he looks awesome. He traditionally rocks the outer space 
side of this, but since it's reversible, look at this, you can look like Kanye. If you're somebody that doesn't like dressing up your dog, dude, I get it, but you know, this little diva won't walk unless he's got a jacket on, so. If it fixes a problem and he looks fly, he's such a weird size, so like, this was one of the first things we bought him to wear that like, fits him so perfectly, so it's, look at this, he looks so dapper. It's got a hood, so like, doesn't totally make sense for dogs to wear hoods. Cause like as soon as he leans forward, he can't see. <laughs> but damn, look how cool he looks. High five, all time. Thanks for helping me with this part of the video. All right, it's on the lens, right there. It's on the lens, right there, see? Get it, get it. <laughs> all right, so if you have that walking problem and you got 40 bucks, and you want people to stop you on the street and be like, oh my God, where did you get that jacket? Um, this is your, this is your thing. Are you so cute? Are you the star of the series now? <laughs> so for this next item, my goal in life is to basically leave my house and to not have to grab anything. It's just like, Everything I need is on me. We're not quite there yet, but these days I'm walletless. Have my cards, have my ID, which, how are IDs not digital yet? What are we doing? I used to rock one of those little sticky things on the back of my phone. Just, I'm over that, dude. That could fall off. It looks dumb. They always say, like, Bank of America on them or something. <laughs> Enter the Smartish Wallet Slayer Volume 1. You're not a mixtape. I've rocked a lot of different cell phone cases and a lot of different things that are hybrid wallet and phone cases, and this is the best one I've ever had. Super low profile, holds up to three. Two really comfortably, three is totally fine. Another thing is I don't just want it to hold the cards. It has to be like a functional, good, high quality case, and it is. It's got these grippy sides here that are just like, I can't even like rub my hands across it. It's just, it just rips. Rips? It holds in your hand nice. What am I trying to do? Protects the trio of cameras really, really nicely. Speakers and charging jack, totally intact. And it's only 20 freaking dollars. I'm not trying to spend $79.99 on a case. Unless I use a jackhammer and I'm on construction sites and I need an OtterBox, like I need something that would, lit somebody could shoot my phone for some reason and it would be fine because we all know we're Replacing your phone is a pain in the fucking ass, dude. Even with Apple Care, it sucks. Pay for it, still don't feel great about it. All I need is my ID, my debit card, my credit card, I'm good. I have Apple Pay, but some places don't take Apple Pay, so I need a card, so I take those three. Endorsed. The next recommendation on my list is this six-piece, multicolored cuisine art, cuisine art. Cuisinart. How do you pronounce that? It's a knife set. I used to always think that you needed like a $150 like heavy duty fancy knife block that you like put on a wedding registry or you like save up for. Uh, not true. This set is less than $25 on Amazon and it is by far the best set of knives I've ever had. They are so sharp and these all are for different things. It's so functional. Eight inch serrated bread knife, seven inch Santoku knife. Sound fancier than you are. Six and a half inch utility knife, great for fish. Eight inch slicing knife. Literally what it's called, slicing knife. <laughs> this is your purple stabbing knife. The eight inch chef's knife. And then my absolute favorite knife I've ever owned, the three and a half inch paring knife I use for basically everything. I would pay $25 for this knife alone. And these cases are great, so you don't like pull them out of a drawer and slice your hand off because they're so sharp. The, these are so great and they're all like easy to wash and clean. This is the one this month that is like, if you're if like, which one of these things should I definitely get, Sean? These knives. If you, if you do not, if you have even an inkling of not like, you're like, I kind of don't love my knife. Get these knives. They're $25. Remember the Lone Star Wings episode when I tried cutting that bacon with Nick's like plastic knife that he gave me? Um, I ended up sending him these and he's obsessed with them. Excited to use the knife again. <laughs> That's why I brought out the scissors. Yeah. Get the damn knives. So you saw the knives being used to cut those onions, nice job. Thank nice, you. Nice job, Mike. One of us can cut an onion and not ball like a child. Pow! Oh! One of my favorite things about October is pumpkin things, and I love this pumpkin soup recipe. I'll link below a bunch of like Bon Appetit's 
pumpkin soup recipes. You can find one that you like, they're all fire. This is just like the warm hug you need on a, it's currently, I'm filming this part on like the gloomiest, saddest, seasonal affective disorder Monday of all time. So this is gonna boost me a little bit. I mean, it's been raining for like 36 hours straight. It's a lot of rain that's still gonna come down for the next several hours. Coriander, Aleppo red chili flakes, curry, half and half, canned pumpkin, salt and pepper, chives, green onion normally, if we had some that would go on top. And then also if you can like toast up some bread and dunk it in here, there's nothing like it. It's like that thicker creamy consistency. Like I'm not a big soup guy, but this is but this is fantastic. Mmm. Nice job. So let me know if there's anything else in the month of October that you would suggest, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, thanks for watching another favorites video. I'm gonna get started right away on the November one. So uh, got some stuff already in the, in the works. So thanks for watching and uh, see you again soon. Probably eating more on camera. <laughs>